Hello. Hi. Welcome to my live. Uh, I wanted to go live and I wanted to do the treadmill. I haven't done my cardio in a few days. So I figured I'll kill two birds with one stone. And um, there's a fat loss challenge that I have been posting about. Whew. And I wanted to answer any of your questions and also tell you that tonight is the last day to sign up. Um, that way it's easier for me to send an email to all because I'm going to send an email to all with all the information on how to get started. So I will always be sending an email to all. And then whatever questions you may have and you're going to reply to me, then will be one on one. But I'm going to email all. And I'm doing this the Karina's loser way. <laughs> like the biggest loser. At the end of each week, we will have people dropping off and see how long this challenge will go on. And I'm really excited to see how long this challenge will last. It is not a 30 day challenge. It is not a six week challenge. It is a lifelong lifestyle, life lasting journey. It's not a challenge. Your mother did not challenge you to brush your teeth. She just forced you to do it. And you did it and you learned how to brush your teeth and you still brush them today, correct? So this is the same thing, okay? So you'll get all the tools, you'll get recipes, workouts, you'll get a food list, you'll get education, You'll get whatever you need in order to create your own fit lifestyle that's gonna work for you. Does that make sense? Okay. So tonight will be the last night, so that way I can shut off the form because there's already a good amount of people. I can already see some people are even <laughs> started without me, which is amazing. And then some people are waiting for their grocery list. So tonight I will send the grocery list. I was gonna send the grocery list right now, but I really wanted to get on this treadmill. We had a party last night and uh, everybody enjoyed themselves. Let's just put it that way. I took a week off. Last week I fell into depression, hormones, pre-menopause, and so I was not myself. I haven't even um, gone live that much. I haven't done cardio. I didn't follow my own meal plan. I didn't do anything. So I'm finally back to my old self. It feels really good to... Uh, uh, thank you, Lorianne. So there's 144 of you on live right now. Does anyone have any questions? Or should I just keep rambling? I'll let you jump in and say something while I get something on TV because I hate to stare. Ooh, who's that? Um, you're new. Well, oh, hi. How do I add this? Have you guys heard that Anna Sorkin, let me just add this. I want to hear how she fooled everybody. I wish I could fool. You're new, but can't wait to, okay. Did you sign up on the form or are you just new to following me? Because I'm doing a free, there's a free challenge. Free, free, free. Yeah. 
adult kids don't help? Well, I have young kids. I never imagined that I will be a 44-year-old with little children. When I was growing up, my mom used to tell me, when are you gonna have kids? When are you gonna have kids? Um, so she'd be like, when are you gonna have kids? Nobody wants a 40-year-old with a two-year-old. And then she would say, you don't wanna be a 40-year-old with a two-year-old. Well, I thought I was only gonna have one kid. And then my second one was born seven day, uh, ten, eight days after my 40th birthday. I'm sorry, he was born eight days after my 38th birthday. So I was a 40 year old with a two year old on my 40th birthday. Oh, you don't know what's going on. Okay, well, I'll tell you. I'm a personal trainer and a nutrition coach. I'm 44, I have kidney disease, I have celiac disease, I have psoriasis, I have arthritis in my knees, and I should slow down. Let me slow down, let me slow down. On my, um, I was an overweight child, I was an overweight teenager, I was born in another country that I don't really like to talk about. Um, so I'm not uh, American, okay? So I was raised in New York, and I uh, gained weight from eating pizza, pasta, being home alone. My parents were never around. I'm an orphan. I ran from my life in 9-11. Then I moved to California, and after I moved to California, my dad died in an eight-car pileup on the Big UE with my dogs. I was 24. I did not move back home because my mom was narcissistic BIT. And my sister wanted me to move back home and take care of her. And I said, no. I knew if I had moved back home, I would never get married and I'd be a 50 year old with a two year old. And so she was by herself in New York she should have moved to be with my sister and I in California. She chose to stay by herself in New York. She had kidney disease. I have kidney disease. And so 10 years later, she basically killed herself because she wasn't, um, she was on dialysis. She was morbidly obese, morbidly obese. I remember I had to tie her shoes when I lived at home. And after she died, on my 40th birthday, I was like, I am not going down that road because my genetics is her genetics. And she was like a butterball. She literally looked like two Oompa Loompas together. And so I was on a national TV show in 2005 I went on the show called Blind Date, and the guy I was with on the show called me an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> and so I've struggled with my weight all my life. I was waking up every morning, looking in the mirror, and being depressed. Even when I wasn't overweight anymore, because I've done a bunch of stupid diets, but your head doesn't change. Just because the scale is lower, doesn't mean you're not fat anymore. So I was still fat. Even if you look at my pictures and I really wasn't fat, but I was still soft, which is called skinny fat, you're still fat. If you carry more fat inside your body than muscle, then you are fat. And some people really hate that word, but I'm sorry. We all are born with fat cells. You have fat in your body from the day you're born. There's a fat cell. And when our moms start feeding those fat cells, those fat cells grow as you grow. And no mom knows how to feed a child healthy food. 
because no mom has ever been educated in nutrition. So I'm fat, you're fat, we're all fat. You know, some people are larger than others, but at the end of the day, even the naturally skinny people have fat. So some people get offended, but you know what? If you ever get offended by anything I say, that's how you feel about yourself. And I can't see you, you can see me, I can't see you. And so if someone gets offended by what I say, that's how you feel about yourself, you know? And same with me. I was very offended by many things. I was bullied when I moved to America for being overweight. I never had a boyfriend. I thought I was never gonna get married. I mean, I struggled. When my dad died, right before he died, he said I was very mature and that I needed to grow up, and that he was gonna help me. And a week later, he died. And I really thought that was like, end of my life, because he said I'm immature and I need to grow up, and then he's gonna help me, but then he died. So then, who's gonna help me now? And then for the next four years, it was just, like this, just from 24 to 28, like this. <sighs> I remember my full-time job I had at that time. My boss's birthday was the same fucking day as my dad's birthday. And my cubicle was across her office. And she got balloons and flowers and they were you know, everybody was showering her with her birthday. And I thought that was so fucked up. <laughs> Which was not my place to feel that way, it was her birthday. But that's how I felt. Just like you guys feel. If you feel overweight and you need help and here you are asking me for help, I can guide you, but I can't do it for you. It's not my job to get you out of bed every morning. And it wasn't, it wasn't her, you know, it, she shouldn't have hid her own celebration of her birthday. But I was depressed because it was my dad's birthday and I'm mourning. And so why should she close her door because of what I'm going through, right? Who the hell are you? to stop someone from doing what they wanna do. Like with the abortion. Not that I wanna talk about abortion, but who are we to stop anyone from doing what they wanna do? It's our own body, it's our own life. So it was, it was wrong of me, I know that now, now that I'm an adult, it was wrong of me to be mad at her. Now I know, you know, it took me how old am I? 44, it took me 20 years to learn. You know what else took me 20 years to learn? And then I'll get to your questions. Um, so I got bullied in fifth grade and I decided to tell my mom bullshit story to transfer me to a new school. I get transferred into a new school and I take out my homework and someone tells the teacher, oh, she's doing her She's doing her homework in, in class. And I wasn't, and make my story short, I got, the teacher got mad at me and I gave her the finger when she turned away. And then the next class, I get called into the principal's office saying I showed the teacher the middle finger because she had eyes in the back of her head, they said. And for years, I'm like, how does she have eyes in the back of her head for years, I've always thought of this. Until one day I'm like, oh my God, you dumbass. Somebody ratted you out. She didn't have eyes in the back of her ear head. So like, 
Sometimes it just takes a while to really learn. Whatever it is you want to learn, it just takes a while because you don't know, your mom didn't teach you, no one taught you, and so you just learn all these things as you live. Some people choose to learn. I had to figure out how to live without my dad. I had to figure out how to grow up. I had to figure out how to work with the bitch whose birthday was the same day as my dad's because I one day got a, a she, put, she brought me to her office and said, if you don't go to therapy, you're gonna get fired. And so I had to either shape up or ship out. And so same thing with fitness. Can you lose weight with PCOS? Yes. Can you lose weight with thyroid disease? Yes. Can you lose weight if your back hurts? Yes. Can you lose weight with menopause? Yes. Can you get your abs? Did therapy help? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When I went to therapy, I was single, 28 years old, didn't know what I was going to therapy for. Went to therapy, he says, why are you here? And I said, um, I need an attitude adjustment. <laughs> um, if I don't go to therapy, I'm gonna get fired. I don't know why I'm here, I was 28 years old. And so obviously we started to talk and then I would tell him every guy I met online was the one. Every guy I met was the one. You hear me? Every single guy I met was the one. I had daddy issues, bad. That helped because he would tell me, if he is not into you, he's not into you. If you have to come into therapy and ask me something about the guy, he's not the one. If you girls ever ask your friend, do you think he'll call? He's not the one. If you have to ask anything about your husband to your friend because you're unhappy, he's not the one. But no one is the one. The grass is not greener on the other side. So if you're married and you're unhappy, go to therapy and figure it out. Because there's many people who have been married two times, three times, four, J-Lo, J-Lo. Billionaire J-Lo, what the fuck? Guess what? Is it the guys that she was with? No, she is the fucking problem. J-Lo is the reason J-Lo is divorced four times because J-Lo never worked on her head. She has everything handed to her, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian! When she got with Pete, I'm like, I'm sorry, he's not very attractive. His dad was a 9-11 and I get it. I was in, I ran in, for my life in 9-11. I'm from Staten Island. He's from Staten Island. And so like, what's her problem? She has all the money in the world, trainers, Nutrition people, chef, everything. I mean, we follow these celebrities like, I don't know like who, like crazy people, <laughs> right? And then like, we think like our life is, you know, we have issues, they got issues too. See, same thing. Which diet should I do? Which guy should JLo marry? It doesn't fucking matter. It's the one that you can stick with for the rest of your life when shit gets hard. That's why I created my program and I called it Eat Your Fucking Way to Fit. Not my way, not JLo's way, not the paleo way, not the intermittent fasting way, not the keto way, not the Atkins way, not the whatever else is there, okay? Not the fucking fad way, your way. Oh, what? Yeah, we'll go to the 
jumping place. Let me finish. Let me finish here. No, the one that you said. I'm, I'm live. Yes, we can go jumping. Okay? I know, someone's been. Let me finish. Let me finish. Mo, I'm not saying nice words here. Could you please? No, no, no. Could you please go upstairs? Come on. Sorry, I can't have him hear me yell, okay? Well, he hears me yell. I just don't want to, you know, say the word. Well, let me get some water. My two-year-old that was born eight days after my birthday. He's just like me. He's so cute. You want to see him? Okay, so where was I? Okay, eat your way to fit. It is so hard for me to grow my business the way I thought I was going to grow my business. I seriously thought I was going to have like a million followers by now. Because I got bullied when I was a kid. And having five... Shush! Oh my God! Jared! Jared! Can you take him? Arguing with him is like arguing with myself. That's why it's so frustrating because he is like me. Oh my God. And you know, he's like you too. Because I'll give someone a diet and I'm like, eat this. And she says, but can I have mayo? Did I say you can have mayo? But can I have shrimp? Did I say you can have shrimp? But can I have a bagel? Oh my God, did I say you can have a bagel? But I'm the same way. I am the same way that when I go to school to get the parent-teacher bullshit conference, I stopped going because I heard Karina, Karina, Karina. And I'm like, oh my God, just shut up, lady. Teacher, shush, shush. So, when I started my own program that my coach gave me, I did the exact same thing. But can I have a bagel? Bye, and he doesn't write me back. And I'm like, can I have something else? He doesn't write me back. I'm like, wait, I paid this dude $1,000 and he's not gonna write me back? And so he never wrote me back. He never talked to me. He never did TikTok Live. He never called me on the phone. He never did shit. So what I did, well, I don't want to eat like he wants me to eat. You don't need to have Facebook for my challenge. You just need to have a Gmail account. But if you want free coaching, you see? You see someone said I don't have a Facebook account? I'm doing this for free. I'm doing this for free. And you're going to be like, but I don't have a Facebook account? Then you're not going to do the challenge and you're going to stay fat. I mean, seriously, if someone was to give me an opportunity like I'm giving you, I would have every fucking app on my phone just to stay connected with you because that's how badly I want to get fit. You know what I'm saying? Whew, okay. So, I called it Eat Your Way to Fit because my coach didn't talk to me and I didn't want to follow his diet because I was bored, I'm a Gemini, I need something new, I need the, I need to get my kinks out. Okay, what did you say, please don't delete what? Wait, what'd you say, please don't ever delete? Oh, I'm never gonna delete anything. Listen, I don't delete anything. I don't edit anything. This is me. Take me or leave me. Peace out, you know? Anyway, so when I saw his diet and then I got bored, I started Googling what else can I eat because now I'm bored of his fucking brown rice every single day. I was bored of broccoli. I got bored. And so I started making changes to his diet. And then six months later, my body changed so much that I was able to do a plan, but then eat my way on the weekend or eat my way some other days during the week. Do you see what I'm saying? 
I took his plan and made it my own. I got on a scale every day. I still get on a scale every day. Not this week, because I took a week off. <laughs> okay, so now I, I'm gonna get back in that scale every single day, starting tomorrow. Because I've learned how to have a relationship with the scale. Getting on a scale every single morning tells me, how the fuck did you do last night? How'd you do yesterday? Are you up point two? Well, did you have nachos yesterday? Did you go out to dinner yesterday? Why are you up point two? Did you follow the plan yesterday? Oh, you had nachos yesterday, so you didn't follow the plan. Boom, Tuesday, follow the fucking plan. Wednesday, get in the scale. Ooh, I'm down point four. Oh, you're down point four. So, what did you eat on Tuesday? It looks like I followed the plan. I track everything in an app. I could see. I don't lie to myself. If I have nachos, I don't track nachos. If I eat out at a restaurant, the day's over. You don't track restaurant because you don't know what the fuck you ate. So it's over. You go out to eat, the day's over. Doesn't matter. You start a new day the next day. That's it. If you can't track it, the day is over. And you do it again the next day. Make sense? And so I weighed myself every day to learn who is Karina. Not who is the plan. Who is Karina? That's the challenge. The challenge is for you to learn who is user 719. I can't. Who is um, Mrs. Red Wine Blue 75? Well, I already know who she is. Okay? But that's the challenge. The challenge is are you willing to go to AA of weight loss app and type in pizza, pizza, or bacon, or a Lara bar, or a piece of cake? I coach in the first form app. It's $12.99 a month. It is the best app. Trust me, one thing I know, I've tried them all. That app is phenomenal. Anything I will tell you to do, if you do it, is phenomenal. And if you're not in my Facebook group yet, you will see, there's, I posted Giselle. That bitch has listened to every single breath I took and she lost her flab. She had a little, little skin hangover. It's been 30 days. It's gone. She has hourglass, beautiful body, gorgeous. I am brick and square. And she has these large hips that are natural with a little waist. And so she's just, oh, I mean, she would say to me, I'm listening to you. And I'm like, I don't believe you. And she's like, I'm listening to you. And I'm like, listen, out of 1500 people I've coached, only two people, two people have listened to me. Like literally listen to me, two people. My biggest two transformation girls are just two, April and Kelly. There's been lots of girls who lost weight, but I'm talking like transform, like your eyes are like, no way, she had a tummy tuck. Only two. I don't know why. Maybe because just like a thousand people join a gym and only one person keeps going. Whew. My Facebook group is my name, Karina Rabin Fit. My YouTube channel, Karina Rabin. My Instagram stories, is where it all happens every single day. Karina Rabin Fit. My website, Karina Rabin. Just type Karina Rabin and you'll find me everywhere. It's my name, see, my name. My website, KarinaRabin.com. Instagram, Karina Rabin Fitness. I'm thinking I should make it fit. You can Google my name, you'll see I've been on 10 reality TV shows. I was just on a reality TV show with Bethany Frankel, Skinny Girl Margarita, her. Two seasons, 
I've been on Monte Williams, Ricky Lake, Blind Date, um, Don't Quit Your Day Job with Mark Zuckerberg's sister. <laughs> and when I was on the show with his sister, she, she was like, yeah, you're never gonna make it. And I tag her and I'm like, yeah, what'd you say? Anyone who ever said to you, you're not gonna do it, you should work that much harder. My sister, yeah, she and I are this close. My sister and I are this close. She's eight years older. When I was buying a treadmill to 15 years ago, she's like, why are you buying a treadmill? You're just gonna hang your clothes on it. I was like, yeah? How you like me now? <laughs> okay, let me read what you're saying. There's been so many good comments. I'm just like screaming. Someone please stop me. Okay. Listen. Oh, you're ashamed. Christina. Christina. Hold on. Christina, Christina, Christina. Christina Karina. Am I close to my sibling? Um, Miss Red, White, and Blue, you and I are closer than my sister and I. I see your comments on my YouTube channel. Um, Christina, you're ashamed to send in your pictures. You should be ashamed. All of you should be ashamed. Who wants to get fit and not send in your picture? Yeah, if you're watching me and you want to get fit, and you haven't gotten fit, you should be ashamed for not doing the work that it takes. You should never be ashamed for trying to do the work. Make sense? Women message me all the time saying things how they're, you know, depressed, ashamed, embarrassed. And I'm like, you should be embarrassed when you stop my program and gain the weight back. You should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed of all the times you stopped. You should never be embarrassed to raise your hand and say, I fucked up. I'll do it again. You know what I'm saying? I fucked up for 23 years. I, was, I wasn't ashamed because I didn't have someone like me yelling at me like this. You know what I'm saying? Where do I post my clients before or after? If you don't want me to post your before and after, you just cover your face. Cover your face when you send me the pictures. Listen, I need success stories. I want to inspire women to wake up every morning and move their ass, okay? Not wake up in the morning and be like, I'm so tired. I'm so fat. Why am I so depressed? I want women to wake up and be like, wow, yeah, I look good. I feel good. I feel energy. I had chicken and broccoli yesterday. I'm going to go work out for five minutes. Five minutes. That's all it takes. You wake up. You touch the floor next to your bed. And you jump. You jump, you squat, you kick, you punch. I don't care what you do. But you don't move on with your day until five minutes. You put a timer on. I don't care if you walk in place. I don't care if you walk downstairs to make coffee. You walk back upstairs, go back downstairs, go back upstairs, and walk up and down for five minutes until that exercise moment becomes as easy as brushing your teeth every single day. It's just like that. You don't ask me, <laughs> how long should I shower for? How often should I wash my hair? How often should I brush my teeth? You don't ask me any of those questions. You don't follow anyone online <laughs> to tell you how to brush your teeth, wash your hair, brush your hair, <laughs> put your shirt on, cover your nipples, put your underwear on, put your pants on, put your shoes on. No one tells you any of those things. You don't need anyone to tell you that. But you need me to tell you how to lose weight. You know, you don't even need me for that either because there's Google. 
And if it was that important to you, you would have already Googled and you would have already done it. But you didn't Google and you're not doing it. So what you do need is someone like me to be like, let's go, let's go, come on, come on. It's like pushing a horse, come on, move, come on, fall, get up, fall, get up, again, again, like a kid, just like your kids. Your kid fell, learning how to walk. You said, come on, you can do it, get up. You need a cheerleader. That's really all what we all need. We need a cheerleader. That's what, that's all. You know, someone asked something about what? Uh, did you, uh, what do you think about fasting? Go watch my last TikTok. Go watch my last TikTok, what I think about fasting. Um, so for those of you who just came on, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how you do it. It doesn't matter what incline I'm on. It doesn't matter what my speed is on. It doesn't matter what's the size of my shirt. It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter what anyone you see does. What matters is what you do. What's your incline? What's your speed? How many times did you work out this week? How many times? What was your incline? What was your speed? What machine did you use? Who gives a fuck what I'm doing? I'm 44, you're 67. I'm 44, you're 22. I'm 44, you're 92. I have A positive blood type, you're O negative. Nothing matters. What works for me will not work for you. What works for you will not work for me. My favorite color is yellow, yours is red. I like pink, you see blue. I like the treadmill, you don't have one. It doesn't matter, okay? Doesn't matter. See, your incline's four, mine's right now uh, eight, right? And now that I said it's eight, and you're saying yours is four, now, bless 76, you're thinking, oh shit, I can't do eight. Oh my God, hers is eight? I can't do eight. Or tomorrow you're gonna try and copy me, and tomorrow you're gonna do eight, and you're gonna get an incline eight, and you're gonna be like, oh, I can't do eight. You know what I mean? There's always judgment on what everyone does. You know, like, and I'm talking and screaming, so my current cardio, <laughs> is a little bit different than if I was just watching TV, you know what I mean? So it doesn't matter. This is my slowest cardio. Um, usually I do uh, 10 incline and then I do interval training and I do different speeds. Okay, do you count macros? I count everything. Yeah, I count veggies. I count fruit, I weigh every single thing I eat. I have a very slow metabolism. It is very hard for me to lose weight. Last week, I didn't do anything that I normally do and I'm up six pounds in five days. Six pounds up in five days. If I continue not to track what I eat, I will be up six pounds by next Friday. It is very hard for me to lose weight. If I don't track my food, I eat what I see. Right before I got on this treadmill, I had uh, chips and guacamole. Because we had a party last night and we still have it. So, didn't, I have no, and plus we had Mexican earlier and so today's day is gone. I just came on the treadmill to do some cardio, to feel better that I did something and to come on live and answer your questions for the free challenge that's gonna start tomorrow. So, whew, so I'm gonna jump off here in a few minutes. Um, how, how long do I have to sign up? I don't know, what do you mean how long? You sign up with the link at my bio. Um, the sign up is gonna end tomorrow. How much of a calorie deficit should I aim for? 
You know, it's really hard to say because I don't know you. So if you're, the best way to do it, because I don't know you, I don't know anything about you, I don't know where you live, I don't know how tall you are, I don't know what foods you eat, I know nothing. So you should aim for a calorie deficit for whatever you find works for you, that you're not hungry. If you wanna start with 200, start with 200, weigh yourself the next day. Did you lose weight? Yes. Then try next, the next day 300 calorie deficit. If you didn't lose weight, then you change it. The best way to find your own calorie deficit is weighing yourself every single day and making changes to your own diet every single day. Or you sign up with me in the app, it's $12.99. I don't even get the $12.99. It's not my app, it's first form app. You pay them $12.99 and then I coach in there for free. You could unsubscribe anytime. It's a monthly fee. The app is in the app store. It's called number one, S-T-P-H-O, form, P-H. And then my advisor name is this, Karina Rabin, fit, all one word. And then the calories deficit it gives you in the app is outstanding. The best app I've ever, ever used. I made my husband lose 6% body fat in three weeks. Okay, we're, we're a little left. Okay, hold on. How do we send pics? Link in the bio. Oh, you love my hair, thank you. It's called asymmetrical A-line. Will it help tighten my loose skin? I can't see you. You'll have to just start working with me to find out. I lose weight eating under 600 calories a day. I don't believe you. That's a lie. Or you have some medical help because if anybody eats under 600 calories a day, they have no muscle mass. And if you fall, you're gonna break a couple of bones. You can't get rid of your fupa. That's because your diet sucks. That's just the truth. Did I start working out from home? Uh, well, I started with Beachbody. So yeah, I started working out from home. And then I got bored of Beachbody and then I went to the gym and then I went, I'm home again. I work out from home live. You could go to my YouTube channel. My workouts on YouTube are not home workouts. They are gym workouts. I am a bikini bodybuilder fake competitor. I train you and coach you to be a fake bikini body competitor. I've never done a competition. I've always thought about it and then I just don't. So instead, every 90 days, I schedule a photographer to do badass fake bikini competition pictures to just commit to myself for 90 days because then I relax and then I do it again and then I relax and then I do it again. Cause it's hard to, you know, be strict for so long. So I'm not strict all the time. I can't find my, oh, oh I hear you. I can't find your papa, your dad. Walking two miles while working will help with weight loss. Oh, Alice, I used to do that. I used to work on my treadmill. Anything helps. Any walking is great. Can you say the app again? It's linked in my bio. First, number one, ST, form, like the form, but spelled P like Peter, H. And it's linked in my bio. Um, any walking only burns some calories that you eat. That's all it does. Me walking on this treadmill right now is, is a fake 400 calories. I burned one tablespoon of peanut butter. If I don't eat one tablespoon of peanut butter, I don't need to do the treadmill. That's what the treadmill does. If you eat too much cardio, helps to have a calorie deficit. 
But if you do weightlifting, like I do five days a week, that burns the actual fat. This treadmill does not burn fat. The current fat I have in my body is not going anywhere today. It's gonna stay there until tomorrow when I stop giving my body too much food like I did for the last week and it's gonna stop storing fat as of tomorrow if I commit to tomorrow. If I commit to tomorrow, my body will not store any fat tomorrow. If I don't commit tomorrow, my body will store the food I eat and then I'll have extra fat on Monday. So assuming I'm gonna to commit tomorrow, my body will have 10 pounds of fat, let's say, okay? Monday, when I go back to lifting weights, I will burn one pound of fat and on Monday I'll be nine pounds of fat. Now assuming I follow the meal plan on Monday, my body won't store new fat and I'll have nine pounds. On Tuesday, I will lift weights and burn another pound and have eight pounds of fat on Tuesday. Assuming I don't have nachos on Tuesday, I will have eight pounds of fat all day until Wednesday. Does that make sense? If I'm gonna go over my food, my body will store extra fat. Does that make sense? Because it's really hard to explain. This is why none of you have been successful is because it's so hard to explain. And no one explains it clear online. And even if you buy a book, it's all science and it's so hard to understand. It's like talking Japanese, wah! Oh, oh my God, you scared the bejesus out of me. I didn't even see you come up behind me. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm going. All right, that's my, that's my cue. Oh my God, he scared me. Are we gonna go to the jumping place? So I've only done 40 minutes. Oh, the kids are going to sleep outside. It's been night. The kids are going to sleep outside. Oh, then what are we going to do? Well, should I get off or, or, or not? I'm going to get off. It's 55 minutes. Okay, it's fine. I did 422 calories. That makes me happy. And see, this is why I also wear hand weights. Because hand weights, these are a pound each. One pound. And wearing hand weights to do cardio, burn some fat because I'm holding weights in my hands. And now I have to go. Okay, so make sure you sign up tonight. I'm sorry if I didn't get to the rest of your um, questions that are... What do I see? I'm getting off, okay. The jumping place is closed. Off on camera. <laughs> he told you. You want to tell them what to eat? Vegetables. And what else? No chips. They're too. They're not healthy. No more chips. You can't eat chips. They make you big, fat, and chunky. <laughs> you have to eat broccoli. You have to eat, what do you have to eat? Chicken. Uh huh. No. Only chicken and broccoli. No All right, tell them good night. Shit. And don't, don't even think. Don't even sneak chips, chocolate, or candy. Eat. He said don't even sneak. Okay, girls, I'll come on live tomorrow. Make sure you fill tomorrow. out. Make sure you fill out the link. Okay, okay, okay. He's pulling my arm. Make sure you fill out the link or you can email me. If you go to my website, fish is fine. If you go to my, he is tough. Um, no, men too, men, girls, children over 12. Anyone can join, anyone can join. Um, just, just know if you, I'm gonna need your pictures. Wait, Micah, stop. Hurry! Or- Wasting your time to go to the jumping place. I gotta go. 
anyone can join, okay? We can talk more about it later. You can email me on my website, karinaraven.com. Okay, I'm going, I'm going before this kid. Bye.